Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Money Podcast, your source for all things money. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Hanley Holcomb on the line, and he's a partner over at Signal Partners. Hanley, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me, Adam. Pleasure uh, pleasure to chat with you today. All right, so uh, this is going to be a good topic today. So hiring for equity sponsor platforms. I know that uh, Signal Partners, you're experts at that, um, and I want to. We're going to jump into that topic. But before we do, tell us a little bit more about about the firm, please. We will do. We um, so Signal Partners is a boutique executive search firm. We are headquartered uh, in Santa Monica, but really cover you know I would say geographically cover all areas. Um, and basically, in short, I mean, what we are doing are placing um, executives, you know, into um, into companies and, and equity sponsor companies, as well as working with portfolio brand companies. Um, but in short, we are, you know, we're working with um, with our clients to, you know, to help them uh, hire the right the right folks and, and join their team. And uh, and so, you know, happy to get into more detail there. But uh, that's the short version of, of who we are and, and what we do. So a um, lot of lot of uh, executives listening right now from various sizes of firms and industries. Um, uh, at the end of this, I'm going to give you an opportunity to uh, to leave contact information for Signal Partners so that the right um, types of firms can connect with you. Um, just to, so that we, the right people come your way. What are the right types of firms that are typically a good fit for Signal Partners as clients? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. Basically, our platform is built as you noted, in the equity sponsor space. So what that really means is that we place people into your PE firms, we place people into VC firms. We also do a fair amount of business on the portfolio brand side. So meaning that working with those capital partners post acquisition of whatever brand they are, you know, they're looking to, to purchase, or again, they have already purchased, we will implement all sorts of senior leadership into those teams as well. So on a uh, without being too broad for you, I mean, frankly, we are, you know, we're industry agnostic. It's really much more for us about growth oriented, uh, executives and, and that mindset that, that we're working with people that are strategizing on, you know, taking a company from, you know, from A to B, so to speak. And, and, um, at least on the portfolio brand side. And, and then, um, you know, again, for us, it, it's really, it's, we drive the relationship and we covet that relationship. Um, above all else. So functionality wise, you know, we have, um, there's about 12 of us partners. Um, we have a fair amount of support staff that, that help us out on the search side, but really what all 12 of us partners are really doing is, um, we're aiming to, to, to facilitate, you know, hiring at all sorts of levels. Frankly, you know, we find that all levels are critical. I mean, whether it's going to be, you know, working with, I don't know, someone who's on, on joining an fp and team all the way up to CFO or CEO. So um, for us, it's, uh, again, functionally agnostic. You know, we have folks that will play in the tech space, um, consumer goods, manufacturing. Um, I tend to be personally just a little more focused on the principal investing side and so work with a number of PE firms. Um, and so what I would say to really answer your question directly is that, um, you know, the portfolio or the excuse me the the p e firms are the critical you know is our critical relationship um but that can really come from from that direction meaning the top down and and then they're letting us know who they've recently acquired and um and whatever industry focus that is you know makes can can make sense there's also the you know coming from the bottom up i mean we've got a ton of relationships that will be you know again cross industry and maybe they're actually looking. Uh, for an equity sponsor or an introduction there, which we you know we've done in the past as well, and so we can oftentimes facilitate almost both ends, where um, you know working with a, a brand that is growing and uh, and looking you know again for for some capital infusion uh, and looking to drive their growth. You know, listen, it, it, that's I would say again, it's not to be too general and too broad, but um, frankly, any sort of company that is up and coming or uh, you know again just looking at uh, oftentimes, especially in some of these times, there's some some reorganization going on, or there's some new org planning, and so we will um, we'll find that you know, most folks are looking to to drive you know obviously drive the bottom line you know growth, and so we help do that. 
by, uh, again, placing, you know, top talent at all levels. Again, you know, we really truly believe, I think, what's ingrained in our culture as a firm is that we really believe that hiring the right people is absolutely critical to, to establishing kind of the right culture, the, you know, driving bottom line revenue to your firm. I mean, all of, there's so many implications that, you know, really make a difference, you know, between um, someone who's a, 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 you know, a rock star out there and, and, and performing it at the top level versus someone who's um, maybe a little more average on the, on the scale. So, Henley, um, let's go a little bit further into today's topic. So, uh, hiring for equity sponsor platforms. So where do you want to start with this one? Because I know you guys are the experts. So, you know, what I would say is that there's, um, you know, private equity has obviously had a tremendous growth over the last, you know, uh, five, ten years. I mean, it's obviously there's a it's a big business. Um, there's a lot there's a lot of movement and a lot of market um, that's being you know, that's going on. And, and so what I say is that um, we, you know, we really enjoy the space. I think there's, you know, there's good relationships there. And, and so, you know, we've had, we've kind of been there and done that and seen that. And so I think there's something to be said for, you know, for, for firms that have been around the block and um, understand this culture, right? I mean, there's a very, you know, uh, to be candid, Adam, there's a, there's a different relationship in working with, um, with equity sponsors, right? And sometimes uh, you're going out and, and uh, those guys have purchased, um, a, a family, you know, family driven company, right? I mean, maybe we're talking about a, I don't know, for example, a salsa brand that's, you know, family owned, right? And so just understanding the nuance of how this relationship works and, and what this partnership is going to look like and, and how, you know, how do you implement someone that's going to come in and, and, um, and drive revenue or drive the bottom line? Um, but also be able to to have that conversation with your you know with the capital sponsor right and and how how do you kind of blend those lines between um, you know running the company and also again working with a relationship and so that's really where you know I, I, we find that there's more nuance um, to this industry versus say just going out and placing a you know CFO into a new company um, that's you know running on you know that's a private company right so. There's um, there again. There's just you know there's a, a bit of a craft in in dealing with this relationship and understanding you know where um, org planning uh, you know now that you do have some of this you know capital infusion where are you putting this money to work and what are the next steps and how are we driving um, you know new revenue streams and what's the strategy around growing this company so that's really where we you know hopefully hone in and and find the, you know, find the right people that are, you know, again, strategic minded, understand the PE relationship um, or VC relationship, what to do with, you know, what to do with um, money that you've, you hopefully have here and, and where you're, you're making the smart decision. So I think that's um, what differentiates us between other, you know, other search firms. So uh, I don't want to oversimplify this because obviously this is a limited time we have on the podcast. Kel, only so much you can get on um, in, in the 10 to 15 minute episode. But that being said, um, can you talk a little bit more about your placement process, just to give the listeners a flavor um, um, of, of how of how the search goes about? Yeah, absolutely. That's that's a great question too, and and, and a really important one. I mean, I would say. You know, these days there's all sorts of revenue or all sorts of avenues you can pursue and in, in obviously finding talent. Um, for us, it, it, because these, each search is such, is, has so many nuances to it and, and there's a, you know, there's obviously a real critical um, criteria that goes into each search, but also understanding the firm as well and really you know, who, you know, who we are working with, I would say, for us, it's about, um, you know, to use, a, a, I guess, an industry term, we're really hunting heads, right? And, and that's what we, we do. So it's, you know, our first step is understanding, you know, your business, right? If, if you and I were working together, Adam, I would say um, we're looking to, to, to really get into every nook and cranny on what makes you guys tick. What are you looking for? What's the culture like, right? Is it, um, you know, where are you guys and what are the people like? What's, you know, who are you looking for? And, and obviously on a specific role, what that exact criteria looks like. And then, you know, for us, we're going out and um, we're never posting jobs. I mean, this is all done very discreetly. And, and so we are then, you know, putting, um, I would say without oversimplifying, as you alluded to, oversimplifying our process, we're basically building lists of, you know, where, you know, where we're going to go find those right folks. And, um, and then we're, you know, we're out obviously conducting outreach and, um, and then hopefully we're getting our, our target 
candidate list together, and from there we're thoroughly vetting that process, right? And it's, you know, um, again, not to be too detailed, but there's all sorts of nuances into understanding, you know, how an executive, you know, what he's done in the past, what makes him tick, who is he, what's his personal life like, all of these things, you know, make a big difference in, in who you're placing. So really understanding that and, and putting that together um, in a package that's efficient and, you know, hopefully we're, we're moving from there into, a, you know, a strong interview process and, um, and, and so, uh, yeah, I would say that's, you know, it, it, a good condensed version, or hopefully that's a condensed version of, of what we're doing. But, um, you know, no, each search has its own challenges, right? And, and so there's always um, – no search is exactly the same, and so that's exactly how we run it. Uh, you know, as much as we know our current clientele very well, I would say no search is, is, is always the same, and that's also, you know, what makes it interesting for, you know, for guys like myself and, and in this industry. I mean, I love what I do. So I think that, um, you know, it's an exciting an exciting business to be in, and it's always evolving. So that's, that's, that's awesome. awesome. So, Hanley, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Signal Partners, I mean, what's the best way for them to reach out to you and your team? I would say our website clearly is is uh, is – the best avenue at signalpartners.com um, and our, you know, our emails are, are on there. And so we're always welcome you know, to speaking with, uh, with individuals and folks and, and listen, I mean, there's a lot that we, we offer from not just placement, the placement side of, of business too. I mean, as you can imagine, we're, you know, discussing, you know, compensation, uh, you know, comparisons. We're speaking to competitors daily. Um, we, you know, we do all sorts of things around organizational planning uh, and things of that nature too. So I would say, you know, always open to having a conversation and, and you know, seeing how we can be a resource and, and be helpful and, um, and just, you know, discuss the market, the hiring market in, in general and, uh, and, and certainly go from there. Fantastic. Well, Hanley, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about um, really your background and how and the importance of hiring for equity sponsor platform. So all great stuff there. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Money, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Hanley, thanks again for coming on the show.